You have to fight a good fight. And if it feel good to you, fight. Even when it don't feel good to you, fight. I am from All Girl Gardens, and my mother, Hazel Johnson, is the one that continues to inspire me every day. She told us about climate change, but she didn't call it that. She called it a change in the weather pattern. Environmental justice is important because it seeks the truth, and it gives you a choice. Either we're going to live in a polluted community, or we're going to live in a healthy community. Either you're going to get it right, or we're going to continue to get it wrong. And I ain't the type to like to be on the wrong side of life. <laughs>the daughter of Mexican immigrants. We spent our summers in, in Mexico. So that connection with nature was fostered at a very early age. I always wanted to do architecture that was sustainable. We want to build buildings that are healthy for people. Inevitably, you come across preservation. The greenest building is the one that already exists. Sustainability takes us into so many areas like equity. We need to preserve our cultures. We need to preserve our histories. So it's not just about the building. It's so much more than that. Diversity is how you grow. I am from Chicago South Side neighborhood of Inglewood. I got started in preservation because I wanted to understand the disparity that existed and how it impacts our personal lives. So the Folded Map Project, it really is just a visualization of Chicago's existing segregation and the historical impact today. I hope my project can help people understand that connection to history and how it impacts their everyday lives. The only way we can strive and actually reach a more equitable city and world is connecting to people. Buildings are a physical reflection of where we've been, where we are, and hopefully where we're going. My start in historic preservation really began with my work on buildings like the Wrigley Building and the IBM Building, now AME Plaza, but quickly began to link the work in historic preservation to the work I do as a land use attorney more broadly with community development. And one of the lessons I've learned is to listen, to listen to the people and the communities that we're in front of. I hope that the impact of my work is to bring justice and fairness to the world that I live in, to see an equitable world. I feel like my impact has been changing government from the inside. It sounds very like simple, but it hasn't been. It's taken 20 years to do that. It includes financing, it includes economic development, community development, and that made me want to learn about those different aspects and actually change them from the inside of city government. What motivates me and makes me believe in the work that we do are really the communities and the people who live there and what they see as important. And that gives me energy to help cut through the red tape or whatever's in the path to make that happen. To be honest, I really don't get involved in anything unless I really think it is going to be a challenge. How I got in preservation, that's also a fun story. I was befriended by a gentleman, and he was talking about what was going on with the Tree Studios Medina Temple. Before I knew it, I was taking lunch breaks, morning breaks, so I could go down to City Hall and speak in front of City Council. And here I am now at the state level doing the same thing. I feel architectural education is so important because you don't know when children are going to have that wow moment, when they're going to see that particular building or skyscraper that's really going to make them feel like anything is possible in the world. And I want children to have that opportunity. I'm excited to see more children, more diverse voices, um, more communities involved with preservation. I'm now currently serving as a commissioner for the Chicago Landmarks Commission. I am one of nine commissioners. I'm the only black woman that sits in that role. There has been this shift happening in the commission um, to where we're having more cultural relevancy. 
understanding that the people of the communities should have a voice and better yet understand fully the process of landmarking and why it's so important. In an ideal world, everyone would have a voice and a say in preservation. Mm -hmm.